What's going on guys? It's me, Avionics, back with another action figure review video. But we're actually going to be reviewing not action figures, but a action figure playset. Now this is the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Sewer playset. I um, got some intel a few days ago saying that a Target on the west side of Las Vegas had like three or four of them. So I left work early. Honestly, I left work early around 8 o'clock at night so I can run over to Target and grab one before, who knows, they all just disappeared. So yeah, so I finally grabbed one. Um, I did have one on pre-order at, um, what was it, Entertainment Earth for um, $85 plus tax, whatever. But it's actually cheaper at Target. It's actually, because it's retail price, so it's $79.99. And then I used my Target red card discount, so 5% off, so that's like $4 off. So like 76 bucks i think after tax and everything but yeah so you know i have been i don't know if you can see it in the corner here but i am collecting the mutant mayhem new movie um ninja turtle action figures so let's take a look at the the box because it's not as big as i thought it was going to be in the box or like you know the box but um there is adult assembly required as it does say here but here is the front it says sewer our home sweet sewer home, or what is that? Home sweet sewer home, sewer layer playset. Let's go around here, take a look. Got 20 plus features, three areas of play. Um, this is the front, over 25 inches tall, once again made by um, or licensed by Nickelodeon. Uh, it says playset includes one playset, one ooze ball, one ooze packet. Not really gonna mess with the, anything liquid with this thing, but we'll, we'll crack it open and see how it looks with the place and everything. One weight bench, one zip line, one ooze bath time. Look at the side of the box. Zip line attack, hidden vault entrance, slam dunk on villains, bench press launcher, multiple playset configurations, figures sold separately. Swing it around to the other side. Rolling ooze ball attack, ooze the baddies. Take the toilet, elevator, sewer, layer, place that. All right, and then the back, right here. Let's go over this part. Sewer layer, place that, home sweet sewer home. Travel with the turtles from the New York City streets through the subway system into the sewers, into the lair. It's the perfect home for this mean green crime fighting team that's loaded with tons of fun features and lots of surprises. 20 plus features and lots of ninja action, zip line attack, Loose ball rolling attack, sewer pipe surprise, toilet elevator, basketball attack, swing down surprise, pay phone periscope, drop down staircase, dojo training area with weapons rack, chandelier attack, bench press launcher, hidden vault entrance, secret slide, swinging ladders, secret sewer entrance, multiple playset configurations, and much more. There's a lot going on with this playset. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see how everything is like set up in the box ready to assemble. So I started getting ahead of myself, getting all excited about this, and I had started unwrapping some of the items out of its tissue paper and cardboard, which were these. You got the train tracks right here, and it uh, looks like the step ladder, step ladder pieces, the, uh, the sewer pipe, uh, ooze ball part. Um, this, uh, I don't know what this part is yet. We'll figure it out here soon, the ooze ball. And then the uh, power lines are uh, loose, but like wrapped in cardboard. I don't think this was wrapped in cardboard in the box. And then we have this piece that was that was not wrapped up, which is the the cement slab foundation. And then uh, here's the the vault door with the with the brick plastic. So this is going to open up like that. And then uh, here's the porta potty, and it's a little plastic wrap and then more parts in here just like that and then um, all the other main parts including the basketball hoop and this like that. actually first I decided to take everything out completely um, well except for uh, the exception of some small parts decided to lay it all out for you guys to see what it's a uh, what is involved actually all the parts so here's the small baggies of parts right there. Okay, and then the instructions and the diorama cardboard in there and probably some stickers. But uh, yeah, not gonna lie, this is looking a little overwhelming, little intimidating, 
But, um, you know, it's a good project and it's going to be uh, all worth it in the end. So let's go ahead and I'm going to cut it here and then start assembling and time it and all and let you guys know. All right, so assembly took just over 50 minutes. Like I said, it was overwhelming and intimidating at first. After, uh, you know, just looking over the instructions, it was fairly simple to put, uh, put together. Everything just snapped into place and it does say to uh, place all the decals on first before assembling anything but here is a total overall look at the playset there's the top above the surface and down at the bottom under in the sewer and then here is the uh, the subway tower with the zip line going all the way up to the electric pole power line all right and you see the the stairs that's supposed to fall away. We're going to go over every single feature in here and uh, what everything does. There is a lot going on everywhere and even around the back. We've got this part, the doors that open, and then the, uh, you know, this little platform, and then the, um, the entrance into the sewer with some steps. And then over on this side, I was having trouble getting this part to uh, stick in fully because it, it's supposed to bend and then or fold over and then get held together by these uh, these uh, button style um, pieces that keep it in place. I'm going to have to just tape it so it just completely folds over because these tend to pop off, especially this one right there. But this is that side of the sewer playset. Like I said, I don't plan on playing with the ooze much, so I just poured it into the ooze ball and I'm gonna keep it in there. But what you're supposed to do with this is using this contraption, the pipe that goes down all the way into the, onto here, you're supposed to be able to put like um, uh, like Bebop or Rocksteady or some kind of enemy and basically just pour this in there and it's gonna just like ooze down slowly down there. And this is non-toxic, but I'm gonna keep mine just like that. But with this ball, it starts over here, open up that sewer hole, and and then we're going to, um, we're gonna move this, the, the bench press, and we're gonna slide this out, slide it out fully like this, and then it's just gonna clip onto here. And this subway station or the tower, you can put it on on either side, really, just like it shows. And then what you do is you basically just lift this up and put like a bad guy over here. We're going to demonstrate it here um, once uh, we go over all the features. But basically, <laughs> that ooze kind of, kind of weighs it down in there, but it's going to go down like that. This chipboard was um, the most difficult part to put together really because like I said, you had to fold this over and then clip it into place with these button snap thingies and just the way they line up on the back. Uh, but taking a closer look, we do have Superfly pouring uh, ooze, it looks like right down into that pipe. And then we've got Wingnut holding a canister of ooze. And then we do have, I believe that's Genghis Khan. And then here we have um, Ray Filet then here we have Mondo Gecko, and then we have a barber shop down there, and it looks like a like a, a garage. Got windows, the escape hatches, and ACs. And then over here, all the ooze that super uh, super flies pouring down onto everything, right in front of the store. A closer look at the front uh, door and the stairs, which is pretty cool. And then here, the uh, the payphone, which is the per periscope. So um, the decals that I put on all that, the side, turn it. And then um, the rail the rail tracks or the subway tracks, which is kind of weird because, you know, it's not really going to be on the surface. And then here we have the uh, the grate, the metal grate, which you it's kind of hard to flip up, but just like that, because actually you don't even have to flip it up because over here is the lever for the uh, porta potty elevator, which goes up like that. You do have to hold down the playset, and then it's gonna go up just like that. And this Sal sticker wants to start 
peeling off. But I feel like I'm missing a piece actually. There's like in the instructions it said I'm supposed to put like a little baby turtle on here or something. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But this actually opens up and it's actually pretty cool and detailed inside. Let me see if I can turn my light on here. Let's see. There we go. So you do have like the toilet part and the urinal and then the, the sink. It's uh, pretty cool looking. Let's go ahead and close that up. But yeah, so that's the uh, the elevator to bring the turtles up, up and down into the sewer layer. So just hold, push down on that layer and then it's gonna sit right in that little pocket. And then um, over here we do have the punching bags and a speed bag and little hooks to put their weapons in. It's kind of obstructed by by this pipe that doesn't even move. So um, that's kind of, it's kind of weird. It's just in the way. And then on this pipe, it does look like it does have like, uh, like ladder rungs so you can hang the turtles there. And then um, pretty cool looking detail with the pavers. And then down here, like I said, there's the drop down chandelier and you wind it up by, oops, sorry. There's the chandelier. There's a button, right? Not a button, but a uh, a knob to um, wind it back up. But if you press this red button, it's going to release the chandelier. Okay, it's making me look like a liar. Hold on. There, there you go. And like I said, wind it back up by going uh, counterclockwise. Kind of hard to do this all while holding the my phone camera camera phone there you go just like that and then um basketball hoop with no basketball to play with but yeah and then here's the payphone periscope so this is gonna like articulate and rotate like just like that and then if you take a closer look it does have like a view of of the uh, upstairs or the above the surface so they can just hold on to those handles, make it look like they're using it. And um, like I said, this ladder um, slides right over on top. It does have a little bit of tension, but um, we'll, we'll put that back later down here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. And so this is where the uh, bench press sits, like that. Uh, right over that towel, and we have like some pizza and some cans. But this catapult, it's supposed to, um, or bench press catapult, basically you just do that and it's gonna put like a, a bad guy right here in front of it. But that's taking a closer look at the bench press. So that's pretty cool. You can have them, you know, uh, displayed working out on there. And then as far as the subway tower, it does have these yellow translucent pieces to make it look like actual street lamps. And then the, um, the push button of the clock isn't very, isn't very good. Cause it's supposed to uh, drop that steps, drop those steps down onto a bad guy. But when I press on it, it doesn't really let go of it. it, it it's basically the resistance, so it's kind of tight. It's it's not really loose. It's supposed to be loose, so that way it can just fall down in there and hit a guy that's standing right here. But um, let's see what else. Um, this is where you would hook that the subway tracks onto. So, oh, the doors. Okay, well, let's see. We got this ladder here where you can put, have the um, have the Ninja Trolls climb and then go top side up here through that manhole, right? Let's put this grate back down. And then here is a, uh, a swing. It's like a ladder swing. So basically, you can have a Ninja Turtle hanging from this rung and then they're just gonna kind of like fly open fly through these doors opening it up from that side like so you can have like a bad guy standing over there and then like I said that's the entrance into the sewer that opens up this way it doesn't it doesn't open up into the sewer it opens up that way and then let me zoom in here this actually does spin so yeah, the um, the paint and everything looks really good. A very colorful playset. So now let's go ahead and put all the action figures in here. 
and have them all demonstrate all the parts and the pieces and and, and then after that we'll um we'll put the uh, motorcycles and the new party van or pizza wagon and how everything looks all together oh yeah and then the zip line of course which was right here and i have it attached wrapped around the uh the light and then just hooked on like so so basically when you have a turtle there you're just just gonna go down like that right into the subway all right so we have the figures all out there so over here we have Leonardo who's hanging from that back ladder and then we got Bebop uh, top side and then here's Michelangelo hanging from the zip line and then there's Raphael on the bench press Donatello in front of the periscope splinter by the entrance and then April is actually right in here in the portal potty oh I did forget to mention the ooze table um, yeah so it's just like a tape just a table that goes right there but yeah, so let's demonstrate April and the porta potty real quick. Close that up. Just gonna go top side in that porta potty elevator. Like I said, it requires some holding down of the uh, the playset to be able to operate the the this part. And then there she goes. Oh, she's falling out. And we just heard Michelangelo fall off the uh, the zip line. But yeah, so let's go ahead and close this. Let's demonstrate Leonardo. Just push that back down there. Coming through the doors. Oops. There goes his foot. He's just going through the, the window of the door. So let's say we put Bebop over here. Try to stand him up, balance him. Maybe if I put his arms like this. All right, so there's Bebop. And then here comes Leonardo. Let's see if he just falls off or what. Oh, he just fell off. All right, take two. Leonardo coming through the doors. Oh, he just keeps falling off that ladder. So the thing is, his hands are too spread open on that rung. So he, his hands just fall off that rung. But basically, he's just supposed to kick in through the doors like that. But yeah, going back around. Let's go ahead and demonstrate Raphael catapulting off the bench press. See if we can get this to work. You're just supposed to press hard here, put a bad guy. He's not, he can't really balance because one side of the weight is heavier than the other, but basically you just go whoop. And then really, that was kind of a fail. Let's try it again. Yeah, that concept is better on paper because execution doesn't really <laughs> execute. So I think Mikey's gonna have a little bit better luck than Leonardo coming through those doors and Raph catapulting off that bench press. Let's let him rip. Yeah, that's a lot better. Thanks, Mikey, for that demonstration. And we already went over the fact that these steps are too, uh, they have too much resistance. Um, so when you push down on the clock, it doesn't actually drop down to be able to hit anyone down there. All right, so here are the, uh, the motorcycles for this Mutant Mayhem action figure line. Leo and Raph. And just checking out how they look with the playset. Leonardo's cycle actually balances pretty well on those tracks because normally it doesn't really stand up on its own. There's no kickstand or anything, so you can kind of put it there if you'd like. Whoa, just knocking everything over. So yeah, just you can prop him up there and he should balance okay, just like that. And then here is the new Mutant Mayhem pizza wagon that shoots out flying pizza discs from the from the side release right there but yeah everything looks all good together all right so my final thoughts on the mutant mayhem sewer playset is the aesthetics look good everything's all colorful the chipwood background panel is nicely detailed with some bad guys going on the top side looks uh, pretty good and um, all the plastic pieces are pretty durable you know it's, it's kind of like the same plastic that we have going on with the party wagon if you have that and you've assembled it now as far as the functioning features go those don't really work well like I said the only one that really works well is the zip line and um, the uh, the drop-down chandelier 
everything else like the stairs that doesn't work having a having a turtle swing in from that ladder behind the door doesn't work because the hands are too the hands are too wide on the rungs making it making them just fall off and um that's pretty much it. So I mean, it's it's like I said, it's a cool place aesthetic wise, and it's for our kids. Of course, it's going to be fun to play with as a collector. This is just going to be displayed. Who knows where? I barely have any room left in this in this room. But um, I'm I'm all, like I said, I'm all in with this line, and I'm way excited for this movie. So having this play set is going to be cool to have, so I can display my my these mutant mayhem turtles in it. And, you know, I, I'll be able to take, I like doing photography, so I'll be able to take some good photos of these turtles with the, um, with this playset, like with closer look, you know, just kind of closing in, closing in the gaps to get some good photos, top side and bottom side. Oh, and you know what? One thing I did forget is to uh, see how this playset looks with, like, um, the regular NECA Cartoon Ninja Turtles. series 2012 Ninja Turtles those scale pretty well with this set because there's Raph uh, top side by the subway and then Donatello right there in front of the uh, the pillar on the kind of by the basketball hoop and I also did bust out the best action Leonardo and that's more in between Playmates size scale and NECA cartoon so let's go ahead and put him down here and then, I mean, there's Mutant Mayhem Leonardo right there with Donatello. But um, NECA cartoon, not so much. But um, 2012 looks pretty good, I think. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments section below. But yeah, like I said, most of the features um, don't execute very well. The ideas are good on paper, but um, kind of falls short. But, you know, for kids, it doesn't really matter. They're just going to do whatever they want. As a collector like me, this is going to be displayed somewhere. And then, you know, like I said, I'm going to take some photos of the Mutant Mayhem figures with, with this uh, playset as a good background. So you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Leave all your comments and thoughts down below about this Mutant Mayhem playset that can be found at Target and online retailers like Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store. $80 at Target, and it's gonna get marked up a few bucks at Big Bad and Entertainment Earth. But yeah, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of future content like this. Thanks for watching, guys.